and making it the Hollywood of the South. That's a title currently held by Georgia. After a failed rebate program about a decade ago, there's renewed bipartisan sponsorship to revamp it. ABC Action News reporter Jasmine Stiles talked to key players on how this could help other industries in the state rebound from the pandemic. The impact that would have on a small business, you know, could be the difference between them thriving or, or them starving. When the pandemic hit, Tim Moore had to shift the way Diamond View Studios did business. 80% of his clients were out of town. We had to find a way to do business differently and opening up this new studio allowed that. Now he's hoping people come down to the Sunshine State to take advantage of his studio's cutting edge technology. But making the case for producers to spend big bucks here is getting tougher. They look at us and essentially say, why would we come to Florida when we can go to your neighbors all around you and get a better value for the dollar? This map from Film Florida shows which counties lost out on more than $1.3 billion prior to the pandemic. In the Bay Area, Sarasota County lost the most, $77 million. We got to pass this so we can uh, uh, stop seeing that Georgia peach sign after every uh, show that's uh, pushed out. Senator Joe Gruders, who represents Sarasota, sponsored Senate Bill 704 to restart a rebate program for projects produced in Florida. Unlike the bill that incentivized productions between 2010 and 2016, this one has a 75% smaller rebate cap. So I have to do a better job of convincing my, even some of my Republican colleagues that it's worth it. John Lux with Film Florida told me the film industry thrives because of small businesses and working with other industries like hospitality. They're going to spend $150,000 a day in the local economy, and that money is going directly in the pockets of uh, individuals and small businesses, which is what uh, has been hurt most in the pandemic. So we really need a handshake with Tallahassee to help build this industry to what it could be. In Tampa, I'm Jasmine Stiles, ABC Action News. And here's your rebound rundown. Two bills have been filed in the House and Senate to provide rebates for productions that film here in Florida. Unlike the program 10 years ago, this one has more criteria to make sure there's a better return on investment, like decreasing how much money they'll get in the rebate. When productions come to town, they spend money that goes to local businesses like catering companies, hotels and other contractors. But currently the bills are stuck in committee. Tom?